as you can see, I'm still in Taiwan. I haven't gone back to New Zealand yet. I've got a couple of days to spare before I head back. So I've got some work to catch up on, which is basically my YouTube videos. And I'll be testing this, which is the new Panasonic G95. Now this camera was loaned to me by Panasonic a couple of days before I left, and I haven't had much time to play around with it. So this is the first time using it. And I'm gonna try and do a vlog with the camera, because I think that's what the camera's actually designed for. Um, it's a very lightweight body. It does 4K, 24, 25, 30p. Um, it has IBIS built in and of course it works with all my GH5 and GH5S and G9 lenses so I'm actually going to be testing this camera today and doing a vlog on it or maybe two days I'm not sure yet not exactly sure how many days it's going to take me now what I'm going to do now I'm heading off to a coffee shop because I've got to do some emails I've got to answer some of your amazing questions on YouTube and I've got to write some notes on this which is a new bag from Wooten Craft which I'll be reviewing and also a couple of other items I need to review. So I need to take some notes on that because if I leave it a couple of days, I actually forget what I was gonna say in my video. So I need to write notes. So I'm gonna head off and get a coffee now. So I'm actually using the camera now with the IBIS. Now I'm using my lens, which is a 12 to 60 2.8 f4. It comes with a really good kit lens, but it's a 58 mil front filter thread, and I don't have any 58 mil NDs. So I've stuck my lens on with my NDs. So um, the IBIS seems to work really well, but 12 mil is not wide enough for vlogging, is it? No, it's way too close to my face. Okay, so I finished my coffee, my notes, and my emails, and answering your questions on YouTube. Now, I'm heading over to the subject I want to shoot, which is for my YouTube video, One Film, One Subject, with the Mamiya 645. And I came across this bridge. So I think maybe I'll do another video here of One Film, One Subject, and the Mamiya 645. But I'm going to use Tri-X, um, 120 obviously, 400 ISO film. And let me see how many different angles I can get of that very cool bridge. I've just finished doing two videos, which is one film, one subject, one camera. Hang on, I've done two videos. Is it two films, two subjects, one camera? Anyway, something like that anyway, right. So now I'm still testing the G95 in 4K, 25p. And I'm using the eight to 18 lens, so you might get a bit of wobble. Now you may notice that I'm actually using a different bag. Now, this is a new backpack from Waltoncraft. Um, and there's my tripod, really white stuff tripod. Now, I'm actually gonna be doing a review on this bag, so I thought I'd test it. Now, in the bag, I have my GH5, my Mamiya, my film, basically everything. My whole life's in that bag. No, but I'll do a review later on. So now I'm still using this camera. I don't know how the hell Locke does this. It's killing my arm already. Right, okay, so I'm not sure how stable this is. So I've got the A to 18 on there, which doesn't have in-lens stabilization. So this might be a bit shaky, but hey, it looks pretty good on the camera. I keep looking at the screen. Yep, and it's focusing on me pretty well too. So this is basically, is this the perfect vlogging camera? Should I do more videos like this? Do you guys really want to see my face this close up and go on my boring travels? Not sure about that. Right. Okay, so we're going to head back to the hotel now, drop off all this gear, and then on to the next section that I've got to do, which is get a coffee. I've got to go and get a coffee. And then I'm going to go and shoot with my two Leica lenses, which is the Voidlander 50mm 1.2. Finish off with that, because I've got to do a finish review on that one. And, oh yeah, also the 28mm Sumeron, which is a 5.6 lens. Now, if this keeps going out of focus on my face, I do apologize. I'm relying on the camera to do the focusing. And I keep looking at the screen, it seems to be doing a good enough job. So, I think I'm gonna get lost again. Hang on a minute, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how stable this is, like I said, because this lens doesn't have um, stabilization in it, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm actually using my Sennheiser mic. I'm not using a microphone on top of the camera. I don't like them. Okay, I hate stairs. Oh yeah, again, back to this bag. Now this is a Wootcraft bag. Actually, I'll show you the bag, shall I? There's a bench here, give me a good reason to stop climbing the stairs. Okay, so the review on that bag will be coming soon. So that's the new Wootcraft backpack. I forgot what it's called, but anyway. It's a nice bag, quite small, but yeah, holds most of my gear. Now, we're gonna head back to the hotel and then 
probably going to grab a coffee and then what then oh yeah I've got to go out and finish off my two reviews on the two lenses for my Leica, which is the Voidlander 50mm 1.2 and the 28mm Sumeron, which is a 5.6 lens. Which I don't think I'm going to be doing much shooting with that today, because it's um, quite cloudy here. Okay, back to the hotel. The buildings here are absolutely amazing in Taipei. These very unique buildings are down a little style of alleyway, little roads, I guess. That's in beautiful condition. Sorry, I had a moment there. It's a car moment. It's like, sometimes I can't help myself. Cars and motorbikes, got a thing about them. Right, oh, as I was saying earlier, the random buildings that are here down these alleyways is unbelievable. I call them alleyways, they are actually roads, but they're really narrow, hang on a second. One more thing, not need, I want this. What a great little motorbike. Right, hotel. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked again. I always get sidetracked here. Not sure how weather sealed this camera is, and it's not my camera, so I don't really want to damage it. Now, I keep looking to the side because it actually has an articulating screen, which is great for vlogging. Sorry, it gets a little bit dark here and it has a microphone input because I'm using my Sennheiser system, my Sennheiser AVX system on the top. I'm not actually using a microphone on the top of the camera, but you can do that if you want. It has a hot shoe. It has a headphone jack, has HDMI out, and you can USB charge it as well, which is great. Nope, that's somebody's garden. Hang on a minute. Does the G95 make a good vlogging camera? Does it have all the features to make a good vlogging camera? Check out my other video, which is a more in-depth review and covers more of the functions of the camera. This was just a quick test to see if the camera could be used for vlogging, if I could use it for vlogging, and I don't do vlogging, basically. All of the footage you saw in the video was shot with the G95. The only footage that wasn't shot with the G95 was the close-up of the G95 covered in rain, basically. I used my iPhone for that. Um, I've not edited the footage in any way. I've not added any image stabilization or anything like that. That's direct out of the camera and as raw as you can get it, basically. And I actually think the camera did a really good job. The IBIS built-in does really well. The autofocus tracking with face tracking does an okay job. To be honest, it does step out a little bit every now and then, but then my GH5 does that and my GH5S does the same. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and my first attempt at a vlog. Should I do more vlogs? Should I do more videos of my day-to-day -day life? Probably not. You guys get bored way too quick. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.